the Africa Tech Challenge is a youth empowerment project here in Kenya that equips young people with technical skills. Winning participants receive fully sponsored master's scholarships to prestigious Chinese uh, universities. The project is also a joint partnership between AVIC International and Kenya's Education Ministry. It aims to encourage young people to participate in developing Kenya by coming up with original science and technology-driven uh, solutions. Well, let's find out more about this year's initiative. Lynette Mwende, project manager for the Africa Tech Challenge, joins me in the studio now. Welcome to the show, Lynette. Thank you. Now, this season, uh, of course, is your fourth, uh, and its aim was to advance youth skills in bricklaying, steelworks, and carpentry. So explain to us uh, what sort of projects were on the table this time for the youth. I believe the projects that were on the table this time were really led by the construction sector, seeing as how um, Nairobi City is really growing and you can see the construction projects ongoing everywhere. So I believe we changed um, the route from 2014, which was basically just technical training, but now we've gone into construction-based training because of these upcoming projects where we believe they can be able to absorb the young people mm -hmm. who will be trained through Africa Tech Challenge. Mm -hmm. yes. Now give us a sense of how many youths uh, are trained and uh, graduate from this program? What we do is we focus on a small number. So this year we had around 120 participants in the Africa Tech Challenge. Obviously we had to shortlist many young um, Kenyan youth from all over so that we could give them the opportunity to go through an aggressive training which obviously cannot happen with a really huge number of young people. But since 2014 up to now, we've been able to train, I think, more than 500 um, young Kenyans from all over Kenya through the past seasons until this season. Mm. Now, of course, it's quite an interesting initiative. So give us a sense of what are some of the proudest moments you had uh, during this season? I would say... Um, We've had a manufacturing contract worth 10 million shillings, which we were able to award to the top two technical training institutions that participated. But when we come to this specific season, I think for me it was to see young women participate in the construction-based training because, as you know, it's termed as a male-dominated industry. And I think for me that was the key highlight because they actually made it to, uh, until the finals and they are actually on the site right now working as um, steel workers and they are working as masons and carpenters. So for me, I think the highlight was just to see more women in tech and the season just growing to just have basically a gender-based kind of um, project. Mm. Now this project is also connected to China's Belt and Road Initiative. How so? I believe um, the Belt and Road Initiative was launched in 2013 by President Xi Jinping to try and, um, you know, create a community of shared prosperity between um, different nations and especially China and Kenya. So I think um, the Global Trade Center, which is the construction site um, project, is one of those um, one of the Belt and Road initiatives in that it's part of the infrastructure development because when once you look at the Global Trade Center, it's a huge project that we, is actually the largest investment in the county mm. and even it's a, it's the pivot of the One Belt One Road initiative in East Africa. Mm. So there's a direct link with this initiative and with our Global Trade Center project. Mm. Quite interesting. Well, many thanks for joining us in the studio and for giving us those insights. Of course, it's Lynette Mwende. She's a project manager at the Africa Tech Challenge.